Welcome to this toolbox talk on protection from bloodborne pathogens. Bloodborne pathogens are microscopic organisms that are carried in the blood and other bodily fluids that can cause disease to humans. The types of diseases caused by bloodborne pathogens include hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and human immunodeficiency virus, HIV. In this toolbox talk, we will discuss about the significant exposure, their risks, and necessary safety precautions. Workers in the pipeline, construction, and related industries could be exposed to bloodborne pathogens by exposure to bodily fluids due to work-related accidents. Bloodborne pathogens may not be a hazard that we face every day on job sites, but it is important that employees are aware of these hazards and know what to do if they are faced with them. Bloodborne pathogens are not visible, so employees should take necessary precautions whenever these situations occur. Occupational routes of exposure to bloodborne pathogens are Needle stick, punctures, or cut by an object through the skin. Direct contact of mucous membrane, such as eyes, mouth, nose, etc. Exposure of broken skin to blood or potential infectious body fluids. Exposure to blood can result in contraction of various syndromes or diseases such as HIV AIDS, hepatitis B, hepatitis C. In order to reduce or eliminate the hazards of occupational exposure to bloodborne pathogens, an employer must implement some of the safety precautions discussed here. Be vaccinated against hepatitis B. Pay careful attention at the training sessions provided by your employer. Ask to see your employer's exposure control plan. That describes which jobs involve potential exposure to bloodborne pathogens and what plan the employer has in place to limit or eliminate that exposure. Don't keep food or drink in work areas and don't eat, drink, smoke, apply cosmetics or handle contact lenses in areas with exposure potential. Avoid bending, breaking or recapping used needles. If recapping is necessary, use a one-handed technique. Immediately dispose of used needles and other sharp objects in designated puncture resistant containers labeled with the bright orange or orange or red biohazard symbol. Wipe up blood or body fluid spills immediately. Use the disinfectant provided for this specific use. Use a brush and dustpan, tongs or forceps to pick up potentially contaminated glass or other debris. Don't use your hands. Remove protective clothing immediately after you leave the work area. Place it in the proper receptacles for laundering or decontamination. Discard disposable gloves and masks in designated containers, which should be labeled as biohazard. Wash your hands after removing gloves. Use a disposable towel for turning on the faucets to avoid cross-contamination. Always use the personal protective equipment. Wear impervious gloves when there is a chance of exposure to blood or body fluids. Wear a face shield to protect your entire face. Safety goggles for eye protection. Use resuscitation devices when performing cardiopulmonary resuscitation, CPR. With this, we end this toolbox talk on protection from bloodborne pathogens. Thanks for your valuable time. Have a safe day.